Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt, and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story is from Madeline in America and Other Holiday Tales by Ludwig Benelmans and John Benelmans Marciano. It's a collection of stories, and the story we're going to read today is called The Count and the Cobbler. But first, I'm just going to read a foreword or a preface of this story. So The Count and the Cobbler first appeared as a two-page comic strip style spread in the 1935 Christmas issue of Harper's Bazaar. And this is John Benalman's Marciano speaking, saying that my grandfather's first major magazine publication was that comic. He republished it in a collection of short stories, Small Beer, not as a comic strip, but with one picture accompanied by text to a page. Here you see it reimagined again, somewhere between the previous two and in full color. So, without further ado, The Count and the Cobbler. In the little house on the right lived Dominic the Cobbler. He and his wife had many children and little to give to them. They were very sad because the children could not go out to sing Christmas carols, for they were too poor to buy shoes. It was, as the old proverb says, a cobbler's children's are worst shod. The cobbler was fond of all his children, but most dearly did he love the youngest, a brilliant baby of great talent and promise. High above the village stood the castle of Count Caesar de la Tour, de la Tour Midi. The Count said to his manservant Joseph, who stood behind his chair, we will drive down to the cobbler, I need a pair of shoes. And they drove down to the village, left the sleigh outside the house of Dominic the cobbler, and went in to order shoes. The cobbler took a piece of paper from a stack and thereon traced the feet of Count Caesar de la Tour de la Tour Midi. When the cobbler was finished, they went outside and talked about the style of the shoes, the quality and color of the leather, the number of buttons, etc., etc., etc. From inside the house, the cobbler's family watched them through the window while the brilliant baby made pictures as he had seen his father do. When the cobbler saw all the pictures, he was very upset, for he did not know which feet were the Count's. And he worried, and worried, and worried. Finally, he sat down and made all the shoes one for each of the drawings. The night before Christmas, the Count came down from his castle, fished out his shoes and paid for them. He was so pleased, he ordered another pair, which meant Dominic could afford to buy a little Christmas tree for his children. He carried it home, and when it was lit, he gave to each of his children a pair of the shoes that the brilliant baby had designed and they could go out and sing Noel, Noel, and for once there was a cobbler whose children's were shod. The end. Oh. And that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Cut. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight's bedtime story comes from a collection of stories called Madeline in America. And other holiday tales by Ludwig 
Benalmans and John Benalmans Marciano. And we're going to read another tale. And that tale is called The Count and the Cobbler. But first, something in the preface I want to read to you. About the Count and the Cobbler. This story, The Count and the Cobbler, first appeared as a two-page comic style, strip style. Let's do that again. 